Archway of Honopu. The archway here stands at 90 feet tall. The top, top of our mast stands at 70 feet tall. It's a reference point for you. You may recognize the archway. It has been featured in some films such as Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties. Johnny Depp is walking through that archway. Uh, you have six days and seven nights with Harrison Ford and Ann Hesh. They run right through that archway. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones is walking a donkey on the ridge line above. Captain in that scene says, Leave of Peru. Taro. Taro is a traditional Tahitian food brought here to the Hawaiian Islands. You have tried Hoi. Hoi is made from the roots of the taro plant. This waterfall is not tolerable by water from the taro. If you look way up the cliffs, you'll see where the waterfall originates from. The spring out of the island, out of the cliffs. Way up top there. Sort of a small cluster of trees. Natural spring. This waterfall not called by. Approaching a very special place here on the island. And for the Hawaiians, this is perhaps the most sacred location on the island. This is the beautiful beach and valley of Hope. And this is another preserved site because this is where the king of the island, Abiti, this is where he was buried. This entire beach and valley was the grave site of the king. Now, to bury the king, the Hawaiians would prepare his bones, wrap them in cloth. A burial person was selected to hike the king's bones up and around to the back of the valley. They would rappel down from the ridge line from over 3,800 feet. They would hide the king's bones that were secret in the cliffs. They would then say a prayer, cut the rope, and fall to their own death. And that was the traditional way to bury the king. Very important that his bones were kept a secret where they're buried because the king possessed all the spiritual power of his people, their mana. Why I believe that if an enemy could somehow find their king's bones, they would take his mana and take over their kingdom. Of course, for the burial person, it was considered an honor to do that. Their family would open social status after their sacrifice, and they themselves would reincarnate as royalty in them. Turning in towards Aba Aba Pusi Valley right now. So this valley here at 1 o'clock, very steep cliffs, very narrow valley that winds all the way back towards the center of the island. This is known as Aba Aba Puhi. You may recognize the name. It's definitely one of the more popular hikes on top of the island, the Alba Alba Pumi Ridge Line. And we'll get just a little. This is the Vinapanapa Sea Cave, this little cave just inshore. There are little birds that nest in that cave known as the eel or the nodding tern. And uh, interesting about those birds, they nest in areas of the coastline with fresh water nearby because they uh, lack oil in their feathers and so they need the fresh water nearby to rinse the salt. We're gonna take a good look inside the open ceiling cave up here at our one o'clock. A huge, a huge lava cave or a lava tube that has collapsed in on itself. The open ceiling cave, or also known as Hale O Mano, House of the Shark. Check it out, these guys inside the open ceiling cave. 